to begin with, because of the history of black studies, we have been very sensitive to the need for a theoretical, uh, even value-based orientation. Uh, we know that our community is facing the digital divide as a consequence of the social polarity that exists prior to the information revolution. So what we're talking about here are three values. First value, cyber democracy. Everybody being connected. So that we, for example, would argue the support of public libraries. As uh, someone said in a lecture in, uh, on our campus, the library is a socialist institution. It, it, it serves a role that does not have to do with the immediate commodification of knowledge in relationship to the, um, the patrons of the library. And so even librarians have this social democratic tradition. That is exactly the point about black studies, is that we were trying to make it relevant to the community. We were trying to fight for open admissions. And this is fighting for everyone to be connected. Secondly, collective intelligence. If you think about the dream team concept, or the public intellectual concept, or the giving awards concept, we are structuring a what? a hierarchy that has a small group of people at the top and, uh, and trickle down through the mass media and whatever to the rest of us. That is exactly the opposite of the possibilities for knowledge creation today. Because today, it is possible for us to collectivize all of our ideas, all of the texts we create. See. Up to now, things have been based on scarcity, right? Like, for instance, think about any budget you may have something to do with, scarcity. Think about a book, front cover, back cover, how many pages in the book. You gotta negotiate with a publisher, or if you pick it up, you can't go to bed with a book that uh, weighs, uh, you know, I don't know about you, but I mean, these books on my chest, I'm trying to read at night, you know, I can't relate to that. Uh, so what we're talking about here is you have to limit how much you can have in a book. You have to exclude stuff. But now with the digital, we don't have to do that. We can include everything, everybody. And we can make sense of it. I'm not talking talk radio and everybody got a mic. I'm talking about we can actually make sense. We can discern patterns in the texts of everybody. This is a new moment. Now the hard one is information freedom. Why? because we've been turned into entrepreneurs. Our university is entrepreneurial. If you take a grant and you get a grant, you are awarded, it's wonderful. If you have a day job in the university but you got a job hustling money from our community, you are successful. Okay, but let's take something like language. Imagine if language costs. How would it ever develop? Language is the best example we have of collective intelligence and collective wealth because it's collectively generated. Nobody makes language, we all do. And the same has to be true with information. So we're talking about a commons here. Now of course this is the new moment. Even if you're trying to make money, the new moment is you must give information to get. So Google. Google doesn't charge you, but Google's making all kind of money. It's a new business model. You give stuff away in order to create an environment in which you can make money. That has not happened in the African American community. Now another thing is, is that digital records are different. Now if you were selling shoes, I could sell you a pair of shoes, I wouldn't have the shoes. You got the shoes now, I just got some money. I can go buy some other shoes. But if I give you a digital record, I can keep it. I give it to you, but I still got it. I can give it to everybody. That's different. And so software starts out $179. A short time later, it's $29.95. And a short time after that, it comes with the machine. That's how fast. Why? Because you all are sharing it, and you're not paying for it. They can't stop that. The new economy is bursting out of this 
containment of the old economy. So we have now the need for, what did she call it last night? Disruptive science. That's what we got to bring to this, right? Why? Because it is a disruptive experience is what we're talking about here. So, okay, cyber democracy, collective intelligence, and information freedom. 